Hey guys, in previous video, we learned about CSS property flex. In this video, we are going to see one CSS property flex basis. The flex basis property is a sub property of the flexible box layout module. It specifies the initial size of the flex item before any available space is distributed according to the flex factors. So, how this CSS property works? Let's see with actual example. Let's go to our CSS. Let's say we have one class element. How we are going to use flex basis and some value. Okay. And make sure you are using positive values. Negative values are not allowed. Okay. Let's go to our HTML and try to create one demo. So first of all, in HTML, we have one UL and let's give some class called container, flex container. Okay. And in LI, we have item one as LI and give class flex item. Okay. Let's try to copy this LI paste item two, same item. Okay. Now to differentiate flex1 and flex2 okay so right now there is no css applied okay item 1 item 2 all right let's go to css first of all copy this flex container and try to apply some css so in container first of all we have to give display flex so whenever you want to use any flex related property you need to apply flex container display flex so it will use flexible box layout okay now you can see we have item one and item two in one row here let's try to give if any padding is there padding zero margin is also zero and this style none it is already none but let's give it now we have item 1, item 2. To apply flex item, what we are going to do, first of all, uh, let's give some background, background color tomato, for example, padding 10 pixel, okay, and border 5 pixel solid red, color white, let's see how it looks, okay and also font weight bold text align center and font size let's give to em okay so now we have this flexible layout and flex one as flex one item the first li let's give flex property the first value is 1, second is 1, and third value, let's give it 20%. And let's see how it works. So now you can see from available space, this item 1 is taking 20% because we haven't, we haven't applied flex 2 yet. So let's give flex 2 and here 2, 2 and 80%. Then let's see how it works. So let me inspect and see how it is working. So here in UL we have two li. So here flex 2. You can see we have given flex 2 to 80%. So first value is flex grow to flex shrink to and flex basis 80%. And let's go to li 1 flex 1 flex grow 1, flex string 1 and flex basis 20%. So whenever you are trying to apply a width, initial size of the flex item, you can use flex basis value. So once you try to resize the browser or let's say you check in another mod, another device, then it will take as 20 80 percent right you can see 
this is always 20% and this is 80%, right? But it depends on how you are using other factors like first and second. And also forget about these two factors, these two values. Whenever you are using flexible box layout module, and you want to give initial width, initial size of the flex item, you can use this flex basis property and you can apply the initial value you can give in pixels as well as in percentage, as well as EM, REM, all units are uh, applicable. Okay, so this is how flex basis property works. Okay, so this was all from this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or any suggestions, you can leave your comments below. And see you next time around. Bye.